Here is 12 tips on separating Lego plates, axles and pins with and without using a brick separator. You can use your brick separator to remove tiles from plates and base plates by using the lever end of the brick separator. Just simply lever under each, each tile, pops off very easily, not much effort. Um, even with the larger tiles, it still comes off reasonably easy. Sometimes if you're doing a lot, you can damage the end of the brick separator. Um, this is why sometimes people may use the brick separator upside down because there's actually a beveled edge on the underside of the lever end. And because the bottom, the top side is actually flat, you actually can lever against two lugs, like so. And there may be less chance of actually damaging the brick separator or the tile or the lugs on the plates. When you want to remove plates from larger plates or base plates, just simply use the lever end of the brick separator um, using the holes underneath. Simply put the uh, separator on top of the lugs, pull down, come off very, very easily. Um, the, the tool is actually designed for this purpose, so we might as well use it. When it comes to a larger plate like a 2x4, sometimes it come off like so sometimes they don't like that if that happens and it doesn't quite come off then i recommend you offset the brick separator tool to one side then pull down and normally comes off because there's probably a slight twisting action there once again it's a larger plate here as well it doesn't come off but if i go on to the end it does come off also when you get a very large plate like a 4x8 plate here um, I doubt if I'm going to get one to pull that off very very hard if you have the luxury of having four brick separators you might be able to take all four off at the same time there we go very easily and all done Using your brick separator to remove smaller plates from a larger plate, simply put the brick separator onto your outer two lugs and if you want to remove the plate on top, pull your separator in a downwards motion. And the opposite way, if you have a plate on the underside of a larger plate like so, use the opposite top side of your brick separator and pull in an upwards motion and that's fairly easy to remove your smaller plates from your larger plates. Separating two one by two plates, simply get one brick separator, place it on top, another brick separator, place it underneath, like so, squeeze them together, and you find they come apart very easily. Separating two 2x2 two two plates, very similar to the 1x2 plates, simply put a brick separator on top, another brick separator underneath, squeeze them both together and they should come apart very easily. Separating 2x4 two plates is a little bit different than separating 2x2 two two plates. If we get one of our brick separators underneath, another one on top, squeeze them together similar to the 2x2 two two plates, see how they don't quite come apart the same way. This is where we can offset our brick separator on the left hand side underneath, on the right hand side on top, like so, then squeeze them together and they come apart very easily. A method of separating two plates if you only have one brick separator is to simply get your plates, push them down into a base plate like so. 
grab a third plate, push that down firmly in front of the other two, just pick up your brick separator, then you should be able to fairly easily separate all your plates. Done. A method of removing two plates the same size without a brick separator is simply by maybe grabbing some other bricks you have around, put one on top, one on the bottom, then that gives me enough space to put my thumbs to then physically pull the two apart. It comes apart very easily. Removing pins from Technic lift arms or beams using our brick separator. This time I'm going to use the axle or pin removal part of the brick separator. And with a normal pin, I can pull that in and out very easily, so I won't need a brick separator here. But with these half pins, I, it's basically impossible to pull them out. This is where I can actually use the axle removal part of the brick separator and push them out. Very easy to get out done. Sometimes you may want to remove pins and your brick separator can't actually get in because not enough space to actually remove those pins so this is where a standard axle may be easier just by simply pushing through from the other end and in this case, a standard axle has actually done the job. You can use your axle part of the brick separator to remove axles, etc., from Technic lift arms and connectors, etc. Once again, just a matter of pushing your axle through, like so. In this case, I can bring it apart, I can push it through again, remove it out very easily. It's actually sometimes quite hard to pull um, pull these out with your fingers or you can hurt your fingers so using the axle part of the brick separator is, pre is preferable. Very easy. Done. Using your brick separator to move batteries from battery boxes is very easy. Simply get your lever end of the brick separator and lever under the plus or the positive end of the batteries. So you're pushing against the, the spring at the bottom of the battery and very easy to pop all those out, um, which is way safer than using a screwdriver, which can potentially damage the end of the battery. So just use your brick separator to Pull all those out, very simple, very easy. Even that last one, battery, which is quite often very hard to get out of a battery box, still comes out fairly easily. Exactly the same method as the, the train battery box. So, you know, I can probably pull out a couple of batteries by my fingers very easy, but using the, the separator tool, I can once again wedge out those batteries fairly easily. And that is way safer way safer and a lot easier than using a knife or a screwdriver. 